Welcome back to Get Even. So, end of the last episode, coming in for the first time to this strange room where all of our progress, all the things we found, is all collected and put on boards for the three places that we've already been the kidnapping, the asylum, and the Robert Ramsey stealing the uh, stuff from the Advanced Defense Strategy Headquarters. So I was wondering whether I should try to 100% everything. I don't think I will, but I think I'm going to set like a lower limit of 80%. Since I'm trying to put together a case and put together the facts, I doubt I need every single little piece. But I definitely want a good amount of it, so I feel like 80% is a pretty good number. If I have 80% of each, I probably have all the pieces I need to put it together. I'm hoping. And so far we're doing pretty good on that. The first one we have 82%. This one's very bad, the Asylum, 45%. And then that one's 80%. So if there's anyone I wanted to redo, it would be the Asylum. However, strangely enough, it doesn't seem like there's a way to redo it. So with the other two, there's these images which look like they're going to take me back into the memory. The other one has it as well, but this does not. I don't know why. Maybe we come back there later for like another memory set in the same location? I don't know. It does seem strange that we're missing so much. It's not like I just ran through that place super fast and ignored tons of stuff. So yeah, that might be a special case. Um, but I am curious. Let's just try going back to this memory. Let's see what happens. Is anything going to be different or is it going to be like literally exactly the same? Are you sure you want to replay a memory you have already completed? Yes? So, it looks like it is basically the same, however, this is here, so this is how we get back, I guess. Um, hmm. I wonder if anything else is different, though. Hmm. That's intriguing. So, let me show you where I am. I kind of messed up and had to do a takedown on this person. Although, I want to touch on something about that in just a second. But, uh, yeah, remember when I came over here? And the guard went over that direction, and then I went into that building? So, I just went into here, and there's a locked thing, and I need the passcode for it. And I don't know what the passcode is, but there must be some way to find it. And also, as you just heard, r red. Wait, was that red? That person that just talked to me is red, right? I think. I don't know, someone. Whoever just talked to me said, like, you know, focus and move on, move along. Which means there's probably something they don't want me to see in here. I'm intrigued. Oh, what is that? Uh, I don't have the corner gun, so I can't zoom in. Looks like a plushie or something. A little stuffed doll. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like these are all over the place. So I don't think you have to play through the entire thing. You can probably just come in and get the thing you want and then come back out. It's intriguing. I wonder if I actually need to come back here later or if the information I need to solve that is somewhere in this map. Also, the thing I want to mention about this being strange. How come in the other levels, when you take someone out or shoot them, you know, if they die in any way, they disappear into, like, a cloud of data. But these people in this level don't. Why? That, I don't get it. Yeah, so it seems to be a time-limited thing. If you let the guard go all the way inside, they close the door and they lock it, I guess, and you can't open it. Yeah, so I wasn't able to find anything new, other than that new pathway, but I don't know what the code is. I got to the end, and remember the woman says, uh, like, I heard the code 3001. I thought that might be the code for the door, so I went back and entered it for the door, and it doesn't work for that, though, because it's not the sort of code where you can enter the same number multiple times. You can't do zero and then zero again. It's like you have to have four separate numbers, and they stay pressed until you enter all four, and then they unpress. So, can't have repeating numbers. So, of course, that didn't work. So, maybe we need to come back to that later. I don't know. So, this one I feel is too incomplete for me to even bother reading. 
but since this one's 80%, let's go ahead and give this a read. Just some of the things, that's just blueprints for the corner gun and whatnot. Some of these we've already seen, of course, like this one from Radcliffe Walter to Kieran. Yep, talking about the corner gun. Nearing completion, etc, etc. This is new. From Dr. James Evans. Psychiatric private practice. Dear Mrs. Annabelle Boyce, as you already know, your husband has been diagnosed with clinical depression. You said that after the tragic event at his workplace, ADS, he's been suffering from survivor's guilt, talking a great deal about the friends he could have saved. I'm afraid that right now he's in a suicidal phase. He has confirmed having constant thoughts about ending his life, so I strongly suggest he's admitted to a psychiatric ward as soon as possible. Hmm, okay, so that's a link from here to the psychiatric ward, and I am wondering what is the you know, what is the the um the significance of the ward? Seems like maybe they were experimenting on people there. Like it had been long since abandoned, but then they I guess went in and threw patients in there and threw the memory headset thing on them to see if it worked. Testing, I guess. That's my only guess so far, but there's gotta be more than just that. Uh, yeah, we've already seen that. Britain Veterans Service, we saw that. Close due to the conference. Need to fix the pipes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Seen that. Clock tower is open for business. We also read that. Uh, this one is... Yeah, this one's new. From Andy Kaufberg to JP... Subject, fuck it. I've got a report here from some fucking plumber or whoever this fella is, and he's telling me someone had breached the underground level and damaged our pipeline. It's your call what to do with that, and if you want to place... If you want the place more secured, talk to Roger, but I'd say fuck it. Okay. I still wonder how we're getting these notes that we didn't even actually find. That could be a hint, maybe? That we need to, like, look at the damaged pipes underground to try to find some of the things that we missed, perhaps. Okay. I think it's time to move on. Wait a second. Wait, what? I thought the center thing is supposed to take you back to, like, where you're supposed to continue, but this is where I just was. Yeah, this is the door. So here's what I meant about you can't enter the same number more than one time. Three, whoops. So three, see how it stays lit up? Zero, and then you can't press it again. Okay, so a couple things I've learned. One, I think the reason I couldn't continue to another uh, memory by going to the center table is because I left this memory, the one that I traveled back to, the hostage situation. I left that uncompleted. I think you have to complete it, I think. I haven't confirmed it yet, but we'll see. And the other thing is that I think I may be able to actually enter the code 3001 in the bomb and perhaps make it not explode. I think the issue before is that it exploded so quickly that I didn't have time to enter it, and you only learn about the code like one second before it explodes, but now that I already know the code, I think I can try it. Now, I've already tried it a couple times, and I keep running into the issue where if you try to press the same input, namely the zero and the zero in the 3001, if you try to press that really quickly, like both of them, it doesn't register the second zero. You have to like pause in between entering the numbers. So I keep entering 301 because it keeps dropping the second zero, and then they just explode because there's no going back. So uh, I've replayed this point like two or three times, but now we're finally here and I'm going to do it slowly. Three, zero, zero, one. Is it on? Three. Oh my God, it's going to go off. You've got to zero, help me. One. Code wrong. I know you're scared, but you huh. have to be quiet. Can you do that for me? gonna get you out of here. Interesting. So then what is that code? 
It's not for the bomb 3001, and it's also not for that door. It's a code for something. Huh. Okay, anyway, yeah, now that we're uh, finished with that, I think this will now take us somewhere new. It looks like. Unless this is the asylum again. No, it's somewhere new. That's it. Stay with us, Mr. Black. I'm pulling you out. I thought this was a simulation. I was... I was there. I could feel it. The pain. It felt real because your mind perceived it to be. Injuries sustained within the Pandora will have the same effect on your brain as those sustained without. Now, stop thinking, Mr. Black. Clear your mind while I bring you out. Very good, Mr. Black. Your synaptic, synaptic transitions are becoming much easier. Yeah. The room you just visited will help you stay away from conjecture and concentrate only on the facts. Facts? All I know is that my name is Black, and apparently I stole this corner gun. Precisely. And an expert job it was, too. ADS all but went bankrupt after you disappeared with the prototype. But I'm sure we will learn more. As you proceed. Like how to get out of here. You are here through choice, Mr. Black. And if you show the same clarity of thought as you did breaking into ADS, then that might not be for too long. You can revisit the investigation room to review evidence at any time by looking at the picture with binary code. Okay. Uh, did we read these already? Controversial ADS emails leaked to the press. Advanced Defense Strategy faces major security issues as email leaks reveal classified information about the company's questionable client roster. Following last month's security breach, oh, that would be me stealing the prototype, when an unidentified intruder managed to infiltrate ADS's main facility, the fourth largest defense contractor in Europe, now faces, faces fresh concerns about the security of its online data. The leaked employee email sent anonymously to the press divulged 12 of ADS's previously confidential overseas clients including contracts with suspected terrorist organizations. In a statement to the press, uh, the CEO, Roger Howard, addressed the issue. Our business and our client roster are highly confidential and we will do everything within our power to keep it that way. We have a very strict code of conduct at ADS regarding who we do business with and any allegations of deals with terrorist organizations are completely false. The leader added, our privacy has been com compromised in a way that is entirely unacceptable to us, and I will not rest until the parties responsible have been brought to justice. In the meantime, our clients and all our employees have my full support. Regardless of whether the allegations turn out to be true, it seems as though Roger Howard and ADS will have their share of the headline, the headlines, for the foreseeable future. Eva 27 Hickson to Christian Westland. Regarding sorry. Hello Christian, sorry I respond to your email a week after you sent it, but we're in the eye of a shitstorm here at ADS and, well, if you've seen the news in the last five days, you probably get the picture. Some guy not only stole our blueprints and wiped the servers clean, he also took the opportunity to leak more than 500 of our emails, including Rogers. I won't be surprised if we go down after this. I mean, the whole fucking ADS. I'm not exaggerating, Christian. Yesterday, Roger locked himself in his office for six hours with a loaded gun. Setting my problems aside for a minute. No, not bad that you and Chloe couldn't make it to our anniversary. Chloe's due next month, am I right? I totally understand, but I hope to visit all three of you when the dust settles. New memoir. Cole Black stole a prototype from ADS and confronted Roger Howard. He knew me. Yes, Roger did. I'm here to receive treatment. I will do whatever it takes. Yes. The person I was speaking with said that 
I'm here willingly. I'm here of my own choice, but I doubt that. The very first thing when you go into the hostage situation, starting the game, you hear voices right before you guess, uh, I guess get put under the memory thing. And it's some person other than us saying, like, I'm not sure if this is right. Oh, this Ray. is the asylum game, isn't hey. it? Hey! Why is everyone loose? The patients must have their exercise, Mr. Black. Now move along. The patients must have their exercise. <laughs> Okay. Oh, God. So, yeah, this explains why we didn't find everything at the asylum. We're not done with the asylum. I'm near evidence. What am I trying to scan? go all the way up to four bars, but it so rarely does. Ah, I don't know. I offer you this servant, O Puppet Master, in gratitude for sending your obedient pawn to set me free of my earthly captivity. Soon I will help it reach the light as well. The passage is open. Yeah, I probably really shouldn't have let that person out. Yeah, like, the green light is going down now. It's, like, definitely something in this room, right? But, I mean, where? Some blood stain or something? I mean, other than the pool of blood? Oh, here. Oh, wow, yeah, the four bar zone is, like, really small. I need to stand directly over them, it looks like. Is Albert on their name tag. Match found. Patient name, Albert Hall. Suffers from severe panic disorder. What is this? The walls speak. Only the puppet master can set us free. There's a chosen one somewhere inside of Lithurst. He'll bring us the light. Okay, I don't, I don't think there's too much purpose in just reading these scribblings about masters and stuff. Relinquish your earthly vessel, blah blah blah. Tomorrow, my master, you break our chains. Now I just want to like scan every vent to see if I can make it disappear. Maybe it's just an anomaly. But no, he would show on the map like this if it was. Oh. We have an enemy. Leonard Shelby. Disassociative Amnesia. Now that we've we've already seen that person. Actually, we've seen all these people. Have we already been down this hallway? Walt Kaufman. Anxiety disorder, possible depressive disorder.
So yeah, we weren't allowed inside the cells before. This is where all the missing notes are. Must get rid of the needless ones. They're just getting in our way. These people love to leave notes. Oh, do I not have my corner gun? Where'd it go? Crap. They're like almost always looking this direction. That's the thing I saw through that locked gate in the the first um, hostage situation thing. Oh. Hmm. That's gotta be something. Wait, I saw four. Well, you really, really gotta look at the exact place they want you to look. John Keating, a teacher reported missing in 2011. Damn it. No way through. Oh. Indeed, we do use this soon. So is it again unique numbers? Four numbers? Okay, so it seems that there are special markings in every single room. So this itself is not the solution, it's just part of the solution. Uh, given what I've seen in the other rooms, which I'll show you in a second, I think we need to add these up. So that is five. I'm not sure if the order that you enter it in matters. It most likely doesn't, because nothing is indicating order to me. So let's just try it and assume the order doesn't matter. So, five. See, these are highlighted. Four. Five, four. Four plus four, eight. Five, four, eight. Five, four, eight, one. Five, four, eight, one. Five, four, eight, one. So the order does matter? So how would it be organized then? Maybe from all the way over here? Closer and closer? I think it either would start here and go down the room or start in their room. Because they... Yeah, they're the one that did the thing, and this is their room. John Keating. So maybe it either starts from here or ends here. So let's just say... Say it starts there, so... Five. Four. What was this one again? Five, four, eight, one. Five, four, eight, one. Oh, it's not five, four, eight, one. It's one, eight, four, five. There we go. Visiting rules and regulations. Don't think there's any reason to read that. Ooh. Yep, they're an enemy. Doesn't seem to look this way. Get my good. Oh, come on now. Don't take this music away. Leave it be. Leave it be. The party. The party. He's on his way. He's on his way. Oh. 
Yeah, they don't seem to turn around, so I think we're safe as long as we sneak. Stay behind them. Make sure there's no evidence around here. No, it doesn't seem like it. No green lights. You, oh! You. Why don't you come down here and find out? <laughs> what else could I have done? They came at me even though I they couldn't have even seen me. Like I feel like that was just scripted. Hmm. Sebastian, the sad little puppy dog. Ah. I mean, shooting that to start with wouldn't have done anything, right? Just thinking, what if I shot that first? I think they'd just be like, what the hell, and then they would start to attack me. What the... Why? This is another locked pad. With the stall behind it. Just like in the kidnap situation, why is this doll associated with locked doors? Yeah. What the hell is all this stuff? Is that a bullet? So their name is Grace. They look like that woman that was in the hostage situation, right? So is that Grace? Home. God, it's so bright. Bridal Dream Magazine. to adopt. I'm at the studio this afternoon. Call me when you're back and I'll come straight home. We can talk then. I love you. Just a small reminder from your loving wife. Don't you dare forget our appointment at the clinic today. 2 p.m. sharp. See them, Mr. Scatterbrain. July 1992. My darling husband, I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll be free to focus on my art and you, well, 
You'll change the world like you always dreamed you would. And no matter what happens, we will always have each other. All my love, now and always, the North. I know this won't be the life we imagined anymore, but I'll free, be free to focus on my art. Well, given that they were talking about adopting, was it that they couldn't have kids? What do you think, boy or girl? Little post didn't know in the bottom right. So I guess it finally worked. Kitty cat. Hey, I tried your office but couldn't get through. Call me if you get this. I've got news and you may want to brace yourself. <laughs> Love you loads. Honey, are you okay? Talk to me. Are you, are you absolutely sure? I did the test three times. The doctors, they said... I guess we proved them wrong. <laughs> but that can't be right. It can't be. That means... It means we're not just a couple anymore. It means... We're a family. Why should we this? Is this how you justify everything? Why show me this? Who's who's showing Find them your this? Way back, Mr. Black. Focus on the right photo and come back to me. Also, that effect was super cool when you got nearer to the people. They started to like explode out into digital bits and then reassemble themselves when you backed away. That was really cool. Yeah, so um at the very beginning, on the hostage situation, we had that voice talking about, I don't know if this is right, and then someone else saying, hey, we need your permission, the, you know, the brain might be like breaking down or something like that, we have to be quick. And then also said that they're going to be monitoring whatever is being seen. And they said it couldn't be used in court or anything like that, but it's going to be recorded nonetheless. Is it being shown to Grace? Is that Grace talking about, like, why are you showing me this? Is that Grace on the outside, just like Red is on the outside speaking to me? And perhaps Grace was talking to the people that are guiding me through this? Hmm. What just happened? What was that? Ah, you're back with us. Good. Those memories, they felt different. What was that place? No need to bother yourself with that, Mr. Black. Just a quirk of the technology. So there were my memories? What's going on? That is none of your concern, Mr. Black. It is irrelevant to your treatment. Now. Let's proceed. Proceed. Right. I think I missed this before. Dr. Amanda Barnes. Hmm, just a schedule. Scrawled out one of the names and put in Puppet Master. So, I wonder if this is what happened to us and why we're close to dying, they think. Got shot in the head. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to continue on.